year fraction function calculates the difference between two dates in terms of years. For example, if we take the difference of 1st January 2020 and 11th November 2021, it will return 1.86 as output. Simply put, it is the difference of these dates divided by the number of days in an year, which can be 365 or 366 in case of a leap year. It can come in really handy while calculating age on the basis of date of birth or while calculating the number of years based on an employee's date of joining. Or another vital usage is to calculate the proportion of a whole year benefit. For example, the company offers $10,000 of bonus every year to employees who get the rating 5 and if they have worked for the entire year starting from January 1st. So if a person joined on April 20th and got the rating 5, in the end he is not entitled to the entire $10,000 but we can calculate how much he or she should get using the year fraction function. Let's look at couple of more example along with this one. So the person joined on April 20th, 2021 and the year ended on 31st December 2021. The fraction of year for which the person worked can be calculated by writing is equal to year fraction. The start date would be April 20th. The end date would be December 31st. Now as I mentioned earlier, year fraction is difference of dates divided by number of days in a year. For that, Excel has provided different options. Either you can choose the actual number of days which would be 365. For that you can choose the option 1 and it will give you 0 0.6986301. You can also verify this by taking the difference of these two dates and dividing by 365. It will return the exact same value. Now instead of choosing 1, if we choose 2, Excel will treat the number of days in the year as 360 which will result in 0 0.708333. We can also verify this by changing our denominator to 360 and we will get the same result. So Excel has a bunch of options we can choose from as denominator. The most commonly used is actual actual. Now that we have the percentage of duration the employee worked for, we can multiply this with the bonus and we can calculate the amount of bonus he or she should get. We can also use this to calculate the number of years for the employee in the company. Here we have John, Jane and Ron working from these dates. We will take the date of joining as the start date and we will take today as the end date. And for this, we will take actual as our basis. And here, we get the number of years they have given to their company. Let's round it off to make it clean. Now we know how long the employees are working for the organization. If we change the basis or our denominator for John, the number of years calculation would vary slightly. Let's write our formula again. And this time, we will make our basis dynamic different for different rows. Let's write equals to year fraction. We will make the date of joining for John absolute because it should not change when we copy the formula. We will take today as our end date and for the first row, the basis will be zero and it will change as we copy our formula down. Now you see these values are changing slightly. I hope this clarifies the utility of year fraction function. Next time when you get interest on your fixed deposit or your bonus for the year, check your start date, calculate the year of fraction and make sure you get what you deserve.